Hey, I'm Brandon with Revzilla, and today we are checking out the LS2 Thunder Carbon Helmet. And of course, this is available at Revzilla.com. So the Thunder Carbon Helmet from LS2, I'm actually pretty stoked about this helmet, minus kind of the, you know, spinner rims that we've got going on <laughs> on the sides of the face shield. But it does come with another color option and we've got the black and I think that's far more subdued. It is gonna come stock with the chrome though. If that was one of the first things you notice, it probably is. It's one of the first things I noticed. But this overall is an incredible helmet. And one of the reasons for that is because it has an FIM certification. We don't usually see that a lot in the US market. So I like that they have that. If you don't know anything about FIM, well, they're huge advocates for motorcycling and it's a pretty big deal to see this in the US market. It's also DOT and also ECE certified as well. But look at this carbon. The carbon is very well done. We've got a carbon fiber and Kevlar shell main construction. Actually has three shell sizes. You're looking at extra small to small in one shell. We've got medium to large in the other. And then finally, we've got XL to 2XL in that third and final shell. So pretty impressive stuff. Again, DOT, ECE, and FIM certified. We've got an intermediate to long oval internal shape, which means it's a bit more elongated front to back than it's going to be side to side, which is typical for intermediate oval as well. But we found it just a slightly longer than your usual intermediate oval. I think most people on the market who typically wear an intermediate oval helmet shouldn't have any problems fitting in this, but it does feel a bit more snug on the side. And I think part of that is due because this is more of a race bred helmet. This is designed for the track riding application. Whether you're doing club racing or the occasional track day, this is gonna be geared towards that. Everything they've done with the overall shell design, they've done everything they can to make sure that this helmet is very aerodynamic and well balanced. Now, speaking of balance, let's talk about the weight. Three pounds, four ounces in a size medium, and it feels very well balanced. It doesn't feel heavy. It's not holding its weight in one particular area or anything like that. So again, this is gonna be an excellent uh, option for riders out there looking to push the limits at the track uh, or on those twisty canyon roads. Obviously you can wear this on the street, but it's better suited for those high speed track riding applications. Of course, this helmet is right at 700 bucks and considering everything that it comes with, all the additional accessories that are included in the box, which I'll talk about more in just a moment, I think LS2 did an excellent job with the overall design and just the quality and that price point doesn't scare me one bit. I'm a big fan of this lid if you can't tell. But let's talk about some of the features here starting at the front of the helmet. You can see you've got some intake vents right there, or an intake vent, it's an active vent right there at the front of the chin. We've got a vent at the brow, and then two vents at the top as well. Now, if you take a closer look towards the top, you can see these turbulators, might be tough to see on camera. Um, you're gonna find that at the spoiler as well as we work our way towards the rear of the helmet. Again, all of that is designed to make this more aerodynamic, make the air flow more easily over the helmet. Um, so I really like all these little touches that they've done but the airflow works really well on this particular lid uh, and I like the overall shell design it almost has kind of a hawks build design to it kind of making me think of AGV um, because if you put this down on the helmet you can see it's got a little bit of a rock there and it comes to a bit of a point at the front of the helmet I kind of like that really aggressive styling and look to it as well but also got some exhaust vents here obviously you want the airflow pulled through the helmet and allow it to escape to keep that cool constant air flowing through there creating that venturi effect which everyone one likes to say overall shell design is pretty aggressive sport oriented of course now let's talk about the shield it's fairly flat so it provides excellent optics I shouldn't say fairly I mean it's really flat you can see that it's pretty upright there but the optics are excellent I like the locking that it has too it's got a two position lock point so you can actually crack that if you want to get some additional airflow moving through towards the bottom but you can see that snaps there. The detents work really, really well. They're very stout. I mean, you can really pull on this and it stays in position. Now, as we move over to the side of the shield, one of the things I don't absolutely love is this, right? Like this kind of looks like a spinner that came off of a car or that, you know, you picked up at Walmart or something like that. So I don't absolutely love that. It is going to come stock out of the box with the chrome on there. It stands out a lot to me, not my favorite, but they include in the box, actually have the pieces here and you can see on the other side because we wanted to show you what the black looks like. You do have this on the inside of the box. So you can change that out if you wish to do so. It's pretty simple to do they actually give you the allen key and the other base plate is included as well so it's a chrome base plate on the inside 
And that actually brings up another good point. Let me go ahead and open this up. You can see here on the side that we changed out to, uh, to the black base plate, but you kind of have this little bit of, of tapping here, a little bit of extra space in this area. And I think that's because it doesn't have that chrome plating over it because this one is not loose. Maybe we've just got one that's a bit of anomaly, but that's something worth noting. Maybe leave the chrome uh, base plate here and just change out the exterior, make it very simple and it changes the overall styling. But it was something we encountered. Uh, so I thought it was something worth noting that you do get a little bit of rattle on that particular side, but nothing at all uh, on the chrome side. So up to you you have the versatility to change that out if you wish to do so just wanted to note that for you the shield again tear-offs they include the tear-offs in the box so that's designed for the race application obviously not something you're going to need to do on the street because littering is not great i uh, wouldn't recommend doing that but you do have the tear-offs uh, they are included in the box and then you have a pin lock ready face shield as well so you can throw in the pin lock insert again the pin lock itself is included in the box and that is designed to help eliminate fogging so a lot going on a lot included with this particular helmet but let's move to the inside here, shall we? Let's take a quick look here on the inside. So obviously everything is removable, moisture wicking. So you can take all of this stuff out. We've got a double deer enclosure. Actually should take that off. A little magnetic stay there. I'm gonna pull this out. As you can see, pull right there is associated with the emergency cheek pad removal system. Let's go ahead and take this out. Wrestle these out of here. Very straightforward, slight contour. Obviously, that's going to relax. It's going to break in with regular use and time and be more form fitting to your facial features. It's really comfortable. Yeah, I think LS2 did an excellent job with this helmet. I'm pretty impressed by it. Same deal there. Let's go ahead and remove the headliner as well. And I'll position that up so we can take a look at it in just a second. But very straightforward on the headliner. Go ahead and discard that. So two things, well, there's a few things to note actually. There's no speaker pockets on the inside here. You're not gonna see any recessed area for speakers. So again, this is geared towards the race, you know, track oriented application. So no speaker pockets, keep that in mind. If you're trying to throw in a Bluetooth communication system, not gonna be the best lid for you to utilize for that. The other thing I wanted to point out, towards the top of the chin, right in here, this might be tough to see on camera. I'm gonna go ahead and lift that up a little bit. But right here is actually, this piece actually slots right out of there because they include a hydration tube in the box. So this is gonna slot in that recessed area. So you can actually, you know, circulate this. It's gonna go in here, you obviously face your mouth so you can drink from it. And this will go to your hydration bladder. Pretty awesome that they actually included this in the box. Um, you're also going to get one thing I failed to mention. Uh, we've got the dark smoke shield on here right now. It's gonna come with the clear shield as well. So again, this is probably the most accessories included in a box that I've ever seen before. So pretty impressive from LS2. The other thing is if you're riding in really cold applications, they've got this large breath guard included in, this, in there as well. That will just slot in on the inside. So a lot to work with from LS2. And I like that they gave you the little Allen key. Nice channels on the inside. We've seen deeper channels, but the airflow works pretty well on this. And I like, again, that we do have that additional detent there and it's still in, locked in. So you can crack that and get some additional airflow moving through the helmet. But overall, LS2 knocked it out of the park with this particular lid. I'm really impressed. I like what they're doing. I like that they gave us the versatility to change out the chrome to that black there. I love the carbon so much. I love the overall design. This does look a little bit cheaper next to it. I think it's executed well. It works well. It's very simple. I like the little turbulators that we've got incorporated there. But man, this carbon looks so sharp that this next to it kind of doesn't look as amazing to me. So maybe on the next iteration of this, but honestly, I'm highly impressed with LS2 and what they did with this helmet. We've got the FIM certification, three pounds, four ounces. They've got their Moto2 and Moto3 guys out there on the grid using this particular helmet. So really impressive stuff from LS2. But of course, if you have any additional questions, please do not hesitate to reach out. You can give us a call at 877-792-9455 or simply shoot over an email cs at revzilla.com. Thanks for hanging out with us for a bit, taking a closer look at the LS2 Thunder Carbon Helmet. I'm Brandon, keep it pinned.